Okay, so here at GoStreamer, we're really excited to um, launch our Linux firmware for our really uh, powerful G8 4K player. Now, for those of you who don't know, Linux is an operating system that's very stable. It doesn't use a lot of resources uh, such as Android or, or Windows. Um, so basically, it means that it's uh, very good at running whatever software you put on it, um, ensuring it gets everything it needs as far as speed and processing. So we've got our Linux firmware on our G8 and we have it with this Kodi launcher. So it comes with just Kodi on it. And so for those of you out there who like nothing better than customizing your Kodi and hooking it up with your media center uh, to play all your video files and your music files, this is basically ideal for you. So when you first turn on the box, um, uh, so obviously this firmware is either available from as a download if you've already got a G8, um, so it's available as a download from our site, uh, ghostreamer.com, in the accessories section, or you can actually buy the G8 uh, with the Linux firmware already built on it. So as I said, so when you start up the box or you first install the firmware, this is the welcome screen you get. Um, so you obviously just click next. And then, um, you know, you basically your interface, your host name. So when you're looking on the network, you can see that the name of the uh, device you know, on your Wi-Fi network or your uh, connected, um, you know, via Ethernet or something like that, it says GoStreamer. You can change that host name if you want, but I'm just going to leave it for GoStreamer. Um, and here you go. So we've got um, networking. I've got this plugged in uh, using Ethernet. However, if you wanted to... Um, add it to the Wi-Fi network, you can just select it here, uh, select the action, connect, and then you get the on-screen keyboard um, you know, to, uh, to enter your password. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do that. Obviously, that, uh, that message has come up saying that no, no uh, password was, was added, but we don't need that at the moment. So, click Next. Uh, sharing remote access, it's really good. Um, you know, Linux supports both SSH and Samba access, which um, if you're um, very serious about your network sharing and uh, servers and, and, and storage servers on your local home network, Samba and SSH access is a really good um, plus to have uh, for when configuring access. Um, so there you go. It says thank you. Um, pretty quick setup all very uh, easy. Now we have the kind of traditional um, Kodi uh, install like we did uh, and like we currently do with our Android firmware. So you choose install Kodi and you get the option to download um, either the basic Kodi config which has no add-ons in it, it's just a bare shell uh, ready for you to you know, mold it your own or you can use the preloaded Kodi config like we already have which has um, a handful of decent add-ons in it has the uh, Freeview TV channels uh, uh, as well. Obviously, you can still customize it. It's just obviously we've added a few things in there already for you. So I'm just going to choose that, and that's just going to download it. Uh, it takes very, very quickly. As you can see, it's coming down very, very, very fast uh, and installing it. So once the installation is finished, it then restarts, and here we have the Kodi GUI on the Kodi uh, homepage. It is using our S3 uh, customized skin, so uh, Kodi themselves um, launched this S3 skin um, sometime uh, earlier this year. It's a really, really nice looking skin. It's got all your, you know, um, your your icons on the right showing your add-ons. As you can see at the bottom, it's already auto updating. Auto updating is taking very, very uh, done very, very quickly. There's no hanging around, and you know on this stable platform. If we go up to TV um, and click on channels, this is showing us our uh, TV channels that we've got available using our uh, the kind of like the Freeview uh, plugin. 
um, which basically gives you the, the, the channel uh, guide. So we've got the channel guide as well, which tells you what's coming up. Um, so yeah, so you can just you can just choose whatever channel you wish to watch. Let's go up to uh, good old BBC One, see what's on there, Homes Under the Hammer. So that's just going to start playing. And there you go. Pressing on the controller brings up the bottom display. You can move along again and go to the uh, to the guide or to the channels. So you can choose the channels whilst you're whilst you're watching. Pretty much like a, a standard free view box that you have, um, you know, in, in on your standard smart TV. Um, all this is all free. There's no subscription for this. It uses uh, film on TV, um, standard definition feeds, um, so it's very, very handy to have. So let's come back out of there. So that's the TV. Obviously add-ons, you go into add-ons and you've got the standard video add-ons. Uh, let's have a quick look in here, um, see if we can watch a trailer, see um, you know how quick it can do it. So it's loaded up all these trailers. Um, Let's just open this one, see what this does. As you can see, there's no rule hanging about. Usually on the Android, it waits for them to load up. And that's happened very quickly. Um, there you go. Let's, you can move it forward, so... Seek it forwards quickly. And this is all with the standard, uh, standard G8 remote. Uh, obviously, if you've got a um, an air remote such as this, I can just watch the same uh, trailer again, and then come down here and put it to there. See, it just jumps forwards um, straight away, and then plays from the from the situ from from the same place. So go back, go forwards. You know. It's almost instantaneous. Um, so yeah, so as I was saying, the Android version of uh, of the firmware it takes a while for when you first open up, um, say like Apple iTunes trailers, or you open up any other add-on you're doing. It takes a while to download the information, and for a little bit it, it waits, you know, to just just to get catches up. As you saw here, I mean, this is literally just installed the config, and I've come straight in, and it's downloaded the information really, really quickly. And you know there isn't really hanging around. It's almost instantaneous. It just it just happens so much more quickly on this machine uh, than it does with the standard Android. Don't get me wrong, the Android is is quick, but this just blows it out of the water as far as uh, as speed goes. Um, there's no kind of spinning cursor and waiting for ages. So come out here. Um, so that's. You know, you obviously you've got all these uh, video add-ons installed uh, in the pre-pre uh, pre-installed config. Um, very easy to go and add more add-ons um, from you know other external repositories. Uh, there is hundreds out there that you can add, which give you access to loads of different con content, movies, uh, TV shows, things like that. You know, uh, we have a, a how-to guide on our website, ghostreamer.com, uh, how to add external repositories and add-ons. Uh, so basically, yeah, this is the files section uh, for the route. You just literally go and click on add source, uh, and then you enter the HTTP address of where the repo is. And then once, once you're connected, um, you literally go up to add-ons. You come across up here to add-on browser. And then you go to install from zip file, and the um, the folder, sorry, the the repository you literally just added uh, out on the internet will appear here. You go into it, and uh, and off you go. You start installing your favorite add-ons, uh, lightning quick speed. There is obviously a um, how to uh, on how to do that in our how to section, so make sure you check that out and uh, work out how to do it. So yeah, so it's got uh, the um, Back in add-ons, it's got you know the music add-ons, program add-ons. In program add-ons, we've got the updater, so it'll update um, the firmware when new firmware comes out. We've also got clean start. If you've had enough of your um, your customization and, and 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 it's not how you want it to be, or maybe you just want to go back to the beginning and then choose basic uh, config, you literally just choose clean start, 
uh, and it will wipe Kodi down for you and take you back to the beginning again, uh, which is really handy. Um, in picture add-ons, obviously, you can attach uh, drives, you, you know, look at all your pictures, run slideshows and things like that. Um, and that's pretty much the same out here on the main menu. Uh, it connects to your pictures, to servers, you know, videos, your own video server. Um, very, very handy to do. Um, but the main reason for showing you this is, is just to basically show you the responsiveness of the, uh, of the software. It really is responsive. There's no lag. There's no thinking about it. It just happens, and uh, we're really, really uh, pleased with it and very excited to bring it out to you guys. Any questions, please drop us uh, an email, uh, support at gostreamer.com, or feel free to leave us any comments on our Facebook page or any of our how-to guides on gostreamer.com. Thanks for watching.